Hello and welcome back to my channel. I promised you guys a silent vlog for autumn, but I'm afraid I love autumn so much that I find it a little bit hard to stay silent about. So today I'm going to be sharing a day in autumn here in the Kent countryside with some narration. I always wake up earlier than Simon, so I make my way into the kitchen and make a cup of tea. There's no better way to start the day in my opinion. Now, as we've moved into the colder months, I like to use our bigger mugs to really warm up with a big old cup of tea. Our blinds are on a timer, so they come up at 7 a.m. So I usually sit and watch the birds and squirrels in the garden for a few minutes whilst I finish my tea and wait for Simon to get up. Depending on the weather, we usually take the dogs for their walk as early as possible and before we have breakfast. Autumn mornings can be quite chilly here, we've even had a few frosts this year, so we've definitely moved on to our warmer dog walking attire. Both Simon and I have been fans of the Unique Low Heat Tech range for a few years now. You guys will know of my love in particular because I speak about it in almost all of my fashion videos during the cooler seasons. It's not only a part of my usual daily outfits, but also a valuable part of both mine and Simon's countryside wardrobe. Heat tech socks are a must, and then I'm wearing the heat tech warm line trousers, which I spoke about in my recent Uniqlo try on video, and the ultra warm high neck thermal top. Simon has the men's version of the same warm lined trousers and an ultra warm crew neck top. In autumn, we often use the ultra warm range without a base layer. And then as we head into the much colder winter months like January and February, we will layer the extra warm thermals underneath. Once we're all ready and the bees have their harnesses on, we head out to the car and take a short drive to our favorite walking location. Driving along the country roads at this time of year is beautiful. I love the warm mix of tones in the foliage. When we arrive, we pop on our boots and fleeces, and I've also switched to wearing my heat tech neck warmer to protect against the chill in the air. These warm lined trousers have definitely been one of my best purchases for dog walking. I've been using them for the last couple of weeks since that try on video, and they are so warm, but also really comfortable. Unique Close Heat Tech uses moisture released by the body to retain heat, which then keeps you warm and that's why they are very much an essential for us for winter. Even with the warm lining inside, they don't feel bulky at all, and they've got plenty of stretch in them, so I don't feel restricted when walking. Simon's a little bit smug because he discovered these trousers before me, and he's always been telling me about how great they are. So I suppose I have to give full credit to him, and of course, to those of you who have also recommended them to me. Since moving out of London, our quality of life has really improved. And that's not to say that anyone who lives in London has a lower quality of life than us. It's just that after living there for 11 years, it no longer worked for us. We do this walk every day and the views and that countryside air never get old. I love seeing the bees enjoy their newfound freedom in the fields. They just look so happy to be running around off the lead when, of course, we're not in the cow fields. And as two of them are very nervous around other dogs, we have so much space to avoid other dog walkers. But usually at this time, it's only ever us that's here. So we have all of these fields to ourselves. We're usually out walking for an hour and on average do about three and a half miles before heading back to the car to head home. Thank you. 
When we get home, Simon will tell down the bees. Fortunately, it's not too muddy yet, so after walking back through some grass, the bees don't quite need a visit to our doggy bath station. But I'll use it to rinse off my walking boots, and then I'll give our trousers a quick clean. We often leave some loungewear in the utility room so that we can change into that when we come in and leave any muddy trousers and socks in there so they're ready for our next walk. We both have unique clothes heat tech pile line joggers. Simon has the men's and I have the ladies and both in grey so that it doesn't show up any dog hair. They're so warm and comfortable for working from home or lounging in. Once I've laid out the bees cozy blanket, I usually light a tea light for this wax melt burner that my friend bought me for my birthday this year. She also bought me these Disney World themed wax melts and they take me back to the parks every time I melt one. It's this friend that I'm going to Disney World with in January, so these nostalgic scents really get me hyped during this countdown to our trip. Because we like to take the bees out as early as possible, I make the bed when we get back. I've shared this process in a few videos previously and you all seem to enjoy my slightly aggressive pillow fluffing and mattress topper shaking. So this one's for you. Once the bed is done, I'll then make my breakfast. Simon and I tend to make breakfast separately because we eat different things and we eat at different times. My go-to for autumn and winter is porridge oats. I just find that it really sets me up for the day and warms me up inside. I make mine with oat milk because whilst I like dairy, sadly, dairy doesn't like me. So I try and avoid it where possible. I also like to mix in some cinnamon so it gives it more flavour. And I just love cinnamon. As soon as autumn rolls around, I have cinnamon everything. I cook it for one minute in the microwave, stir and then repeat. Once it's done, I'll then add some apple sauce on top so that it tastes just like an apple pie. If you don't like porridge oats, I would highly recommend cinnamon and a bit of apple sauce. It's delicious. That said, it won't help you out if you're a food texture person. Once done with breakfast, I give the surfaces a wipe while Simon has a quick whip round with the hoover. We usually hoover twice a day because chihuahuas are horrendous malters. Then we'll sit down and get stuck into some work. We're both currently working from the kitchen island because the office, and the utility for that matter, are both full to the brim of materials, fixtures and fittings for our next few home renovation projects, which will be starting very soon. On this day, we spent the day working and then decided to go out and get a late lunch, early dinner because we've been really busy recently and we're about to embark on these crazy next few home projects. So we just felt that we needed a little bit of time out. Although we're going to a cozy pub, I can still get a little bit chilly. So I'm popping on my Uniqlo ultra warm thermals as a base layer. They're perfect for wearing under a daily outfit because they're not thick or bulky. So here I'm layering mine under my trusty heat tech tailored trousers and then a cashmere jumper on top. I've got in the habit of not taking a coat when we're just going from house to car and then car to pub because it seems a bit unnecessary and I'll only take it off. But that's when those heat tech thermals come in handy for keeping me warm. This is one of our favourite pubs. It's so cosy inside. It has an open fire and they have dried hops on the ceiling, which is one feature that I really love in pubs. If you've got dried hops, I'm going to be there. It's an old pub, so it's got lots of quirky character and they're totally dog friendly. They even have a dog loft. So now you can see the real reason why it's my favourite pub. Their food is really good and they use locally sourced produce from local farms and growers. We're incredibly lucky to be spoilt for choice with great pubs around the area, but there's just 
I don't know, something really special about this one. The darkness is rolling in pretty early these days, so by the time we got home, the blinds were just coming down to keep the heat in and lamps turning on. We got changed back into our loungewear and then prepared for a cosy night in with the bees. I lit the wax burner again and then we all snuggled under the blanket until it was ready for bed. Thank you for joining us for this little look into an autumn day. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.